Hey what's up guys welcome to find gap and in today's video I am going to teach you how you can create this type of model in your react.js application. So we will create this type of model a button to close this and a button to open this model. So without any delay let's start and the tutorial is going to be step by step. So stay tuned and watch the video till the end. Okay friends, so first of all you can see that I have created a basic react.js application and I have opened the app.js which exists inside my source folder. So the first part is I will start my application so you can see the output. To do this I will click on these three dots and select terminal. From here you need to select new terminal. Here you need to type a command npm start. So this will start your react.js application. So you can see that this is the default preview of our application. We don't need this content so I will remove this. To do that I will open my Visual Studio code and remove this complete header part from here. I will save and now you can see that we have empty blank page. The next part is you need to delete this statement because we are not using this logo anymore. So I have removed this statement from here and the next part is inside your source folder you have to create a new folder with the name components. Again I will right click and create another folder with the name model. In this folder I will create two files. The first would be model.css and the second file would be model.js. So I will type here model.js. So we have created these two files. Inside the model.css we will write our CSS code. Inside the model.js we will write our code to display and hide the model. So first of all you have to open this model.js and simply create a simple function like const model is equal to we will assign an arrow function to this and then we will type here return not return but export default model inside this I will type my return statement then we have a fragment inside this I will simply type here h1 my model so we only created a simple function which is returning the h1 element and we from here we are exporting this function as default so now if I will open the app.js we need to import this model.js inside our app.js to do that you will type here import and model you can name anything to this but you have to import this from components then we have the model folder and then the second model is our model.js file so that's why the model is appearing two times here so we simply imported this and now I will type here a model so I can preview this in my project if I show you the output you can see that we have a simple heading here my model and the reason why this is in center because uh, in the upper section we have this app class which contain the style if you open app.css text align center so that's why our this heading is in the center position of our screen so now again I'm going to close these two files because we don't need them anymore we need to code our uh, HTML and JavaScript inside this model.js and the CSS will be used for style as I told you previously. So first of all what I'm going to do I'm going to import the use state from react because we will use uh, use state hook to display and hide the model and here after my model I'm going to remove this h1 heading and here I will type button open model the text would be open model and then I will give a class like btn hyphen model and now if I show you the output you can see that so I have opened my editor and uh, the preview window in split mode so you can see the live coding and the next part is we need to design this button so what I'm going to do we need to simply type here btn hyphen open so this is the class that we have assigned to our this button so I have simply cop uh, copy and maybe you can copy and paste this class here but with the dot because we want to give style to this so here I will type border none and then you will type here padding 10 pixel and 45 pixel so 
if you notice i have right here two lines of style but this style is not affecting our this button the reason is first of all we need to import this model.css inside our model.js so what i am going to do i will type here import then i will type here double quotes or you can type double or single quotes and then i will type here model.css and before this make sure to type here dot and forward slash now if i save this and the second mistake we have created here we have created a class btn model so we need to convert this to btn open and then i will simply copy and paste this class here maybe you can ignore this step but once the copy and paste once you will copy and paste your class so this this will help you in your development process so you do not make a spelling mistake so now if i save both of them and you can see that the border have gone from our button and we have a nice padding to our button so the next is we need to type some other properties for our button for example font size 18 pixel border radius 5 pixel and margin would be auto and background color brown or maybe you can give orange color to your button the text color would be white and the margin right would be 10 pixel and the margin top would be 20 pixel and display block and text align center okay so i need to remove this margin right and then i will type here cursor pointer so now you can see that our button is looking like this so basically by using this technique you can give style to your different components but in this video i will not waste that time for styling because i know you will not be a beginner and you will know how to style uh, html elements using css so if i show you i have already created a css for our model and for our uh, button so here you can see that we have a uh, we will have a button close so we have this style for that button and similarly the same style will be going to button open but we will do some changes like we will change update the background color for button uh, open which will be orange and margin would be auto and margin top would be 100 percent so these th three properties i have give for styling purposes and similarly if i scroll up you can see that we will have a model content class which will contain uh, this css and this this css is not necessary obviously you will write your own css that how you want to design your model and th then in the last uh, we have an overlay class overlay means for example when model will be open we will display a light black overlay in the whole screen so the backend content will not be uh, displayed correctly uh, not correctly but a little bit uh, blackish so user can make his focus directly on his model so now before uh, doing anything let me save this css i hope uh, if you want to write this css you can maybe uh, pause the video and write this css but the main purpose of this video is to show you how to make the model so first of all we will write the html for our model so i will simply type here div and class name would be model inside this i will create another div with the class name overlay so you can see that we have a beautiful overlay so again for your easiness if you want to see the style for class overlay let me show you the model so we have this style for our overlay div and the next part is here again i'm going to create another div with class model hyphen content and you can see that if you want again you want to see the style for class model content you can see we have this uh, css width would be 100 percent maximum width would be 700 pixels and so on so these uh, properties are to make our this uh, model exactly in the center position of our screen one important thing is you have to assign position to your model content position absolute and the same position will be go for uh, position fixed will be go for the overlay the back the black background you are seeing right now and similarly i have assigned background color black to my this overlay class and change its opacity to 0 0.6 so user also can see the uh, background button so if user will for example let me comment this one 
otherwise if we will not give this opacity property so it means user will not be able to see the backend content so we also want to show that backend content so that's why we have write opacity 0.6 so now uh, inside the model content simply I will type here h1 and I will give a class to this model title you can use this class uh, to style your heading and similarly again I will create another p element and I'm going to give class to this model hyphen description inside this p element I will paste my lorem ipsum paragraph so now you can see that this is looking like this and after this p element we need to create a button with the text close so if I will give class to this btn hyphen close so now you can see that our close button will look like this as I already told you this class is defined in our model.css so I have write some style for that so we successfully have created the user interface uh, model you can also customize the style and this open model button will be used to display our model and this close button will be used to hide this model so now we have to do the actual part we need to write our javascript to show and hide this model so as i already told you we will use use state hook for, th for that so first of all inside our model component i will type here const and model set model is equal to use state and the default value would be false okay and now if i i will press semicolon so we have created a state variable which is model and a function set model which we will use to update our state so this will be the variable that will contain our state and this would be a function that will use to update our state value so now for example initially uh, our this model will be not display to the user obviously currently is displaying but once we will write our javascript logic you will see initially this model will be invisible for the user and he will only see this open model button so for example user click on this button so what we will do i will type an on click listener here and type here toggle model and now i will simply copy this function from here and i will create a new function toggle model is equal to and i will type here set model not model yes so this is a simple statement so what does it means if the model value is already false then make it true and the if the model value is true then make it false so we will only store two values so if the current value would be true so this statement will update our value of the model to false and otherwise true so this was the function and the same function we need to call to our close button so let me again type here on click and toggle model but currently nothing will happen we only have write our logic because now we have to do the actual magic i will type here this so i can write my javascript here and uh, not here let me cut this from here and outside our model i will write this and then I will type here model and and then I will type this bracket I will cut my whole HTML and paste inside this so this is a uh, simply like if statement if means if models value is true then it means then only display this and if model value is false in programming language this is a rule that in if statement if we use and operator then if the first condition will become false the second condition will not be checked so this is a rule in programming but in or operation uh, all the conditions checked but in and operator if the first value will become false the other values will be ignored because it doesn't matter if other values will be false or will be true still the result should be false because in and operator each and every statement uh, each and every condition in your if statement should be true to make your if statement work so this is a, a simply a smaller way to write our code so now let me uh, save this and refresh this so you can see that initially because we have assigned the false value to our model state 
and if this would be false so this model content will not be displayed to the user and if user will click on open model so you can see that our model and its content have been displayed to the user so friends uh, this was the method that how you can create a model in your react.js application i hope this video will be helpful for you if you have any question you can ask us in the comment section we will try to answer your question and please subscribe to our youtube channel for our regular videos and finally thanks for watching